Well, Ta Tanya and Craig, you know, the fans are obviously filing out of TQL Stadium. That is a good sign for the United States men's national team. But, you know, I have a pretty tough job trying to describe what that atmosphere was like inside of the stadium, unlike any other sporting event I have ever covered in the past. And I'll tell you what, it was definitely an electric experience. Now, over the past few days, I've had a chance to interview lots of folks, none of which actually were in the tri-state, so they all traveled. This is an opportunity for Cincinnati to be on the world stage and for Cincinnati to be a soccer city. It didn't matter where you looked. There you go. There you go. A cast of characters dressed up in costume, some like David Richardson, yeah. head to toe. So it's kind of an, an accumulation of multiple games. You add one thing every time that you go to a game. He flew in Friday from Virginia. Be nicer if it was in a uh, little bit warmer. Something we can all agree on. For others like Belinda Garcia and her husband Jesus. Yes, 17 years. They drove from North Carolina as a house divided. Yeah. <laughs> USA is going to win. For some, happiness comes from the opportunity just to be in attendance. It's the first time I see Mexico national team and play against the U.S. It's something special. So, yeah, pretty excited. Keep in mind, Cincinnati has a bid in to host the FIFA World Cup in 2026. Fans we talk to say they'd love to see it come to the Queen City. I mean, I'm happy to go wherever. Uh, wherever in the United States, I'd be happy to come back here again. It's, it's fun going new places and traveling with the U.S. team. Uh, you know, since we're on the East Coast, we we're lucky enough to be able to be close to a lot of different places. And honestly, uh, actually, during that story, the game actually just concluded, so it's two nothing, and uh, we just saw some fireworks going off from the top of TQL Stadium. Quite the scene here, it was a full house at TQL Stadium, and I'll tell you what, there are going to be a lot of fans that are going to be going home happy with this big win. For now, reporting live at TQL Stadium, Jake Ryle to be CPO 9 News. You can